the bronze medalist. And uh, you know, George, that you are in the history of the, this sport because this is the first medal for Trinidad and Tobago in all the history. It seems in the World Championship. I have a short course medal. Yeah. Well, short course championship. Well, what are your sensation now? You are in the podium in a, in a so tough uh, event. It is a very surreal experience because um, I've been in probably nine or ten world championship finals in the 100 IM, the 200 IM, the 50 freestyle, and uh, finally I clinched a medal here. And these races are always so close. And when you they're so close that the distance between winning and losing sometimes always has you questioning, what if? What if I did this? What if I changed that? Because, I mean, hundreds of a seconds can, can be anything. And uh, I'm very, very grateful. And um, I just turned 30 in July. And uh, to be honest, when you, when you get to my age, there is some pressure to, to grow up so to speak, and um, I was afraid that if I came to this World Championships, and to give you an idea, I had been swimming 10 years ago in these same World Championships, but in uh, individual medley, and I was kind of afraid that if I came and I did not have a successful beat, that there would be even more pressure on me to sort of move on in my life, and uh, had been swimming in the past, but, um, and I love swimming, and I don't, really, I don't want to give it up. So because you, I loved it, I was afraid of losing it. I was afraid of not being able to justify the lifestyle, the, the work. And it's, it, it's a lifestyle that swimming, you don't make a lot of money swimming. And I'm very grateful that this medal allows me to justify myself to myself the effort that I've been putting in is, is paying off. And that I, I have wanted to continue to swim till the Rio Olympics, and so now, now that I have just swum my best time, I finally clinched a medal in the 50 freestyle. I intend to swim to the Rio Olympics, so long as I'm healthy and, uh, and having fun. And I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity, and I'm very grateful to my coaches who have had a lot of patience with me over the years. I'm very grateful to uh, Anil Roberts, to another coach of mine, Mr. Mike Bottom from the University of Michigan, and Mark Hill, because uh, They've been giving me a lot of attention and time, and I hadn't really been producing the results until finally tonight. So um, I'm grateful. I want to thank my parents as well, and everyone who's been behind me all this time. Any questions? Any questions? More? Yes, go ahead. Hi, Kieran from AFP. How can you explain to say for for swimmers' age, you're, you're quite old, and have, after so many finals to, to finally get a medal? What's the, what's made the difference? Think, or is it just one of those things? I think um, in, in my case, uh, I'm very lucky that the sport has remained very interesting for me because I used to be uh, an individual medley swimmer. Um, I have a bronze medal in the Olympics in 200 IM, but in uh, the late 2004, I had a terrible accident that hurt my knee, and it forced me to change events, I couldn't really do the breaststroke anymore. And it's been an uphill battle, you know, and uh, I was 11th in 08 Olympics in 53, in the finals in 09, the finals in 2011, in the finals in the Olympics, and finally I was in the finals again here and clinched a medal in the best time. I need also swimming for, for Trinidad and Tobago, uh, you know, we're a very small country and and swimming is a very small and where I'm from. And um, I, I do derive a certain satisfaction from being an underdog and uh, coming from a non-traditional swimming powerhouse. George, congratulations. And <clears throat> thank you for your eloquent explanation of what happened today. I'm Alan Abrahamson from California. Two questions. When you see someone like that, like Vlad, who's much younger mm -hmm. and you're 10 years older, you see younger guys coming up. That's one question. How much harder is it for you to maintain your edge against guys like that? That's number one. Number two, this meet has been extraordinary because the times in general are so fast. What does it take for someone like you to go so fast anymore? Well, um, I like to think of it like this, that the 50 freestyle is really my second swimming career because I was a middle distance swimmer and a 200 free, 200 iron. 
So I'm, I'm still learning about the 50 freestyle, and I like to look at swimmers such as Anthony Irvin, who, Anthony is going very fast. Anthony is, he's older than me. Roland Schumann is older than me. Um, Fred Brusquet as well. These guys are well into their 30s and continuing to get faster and faster. And I think this is uh, it's going to change the paradigm that people have that, you know, swimming is just a sport for your early 20s. I mean, what is the real peak of a human being's life? I think it, it, I don't know, you tell me. I think uh, I continue to get stronger and better. And I look to guys like Anthony as inspiration. And uh, it's exciting to see up and coming guys like Vlad who bring new energy, new things they do to go fast that help push the limits of the sport. How fast can we go? It's exciting and I'm, I'm very happy for him and it was an honor to race against him tonight. And congratulations, but I'm excited. Your career is just blossoming and it's awesome. Of course, we congratulate Vladimir. Vladimir, we saw you really fast in the 100 in the 50, uh, 50 first meters. Uh, well, it was more or less uh, a clue that uh, would happen today, no? Yeah, I wish I didn't go out as fast in the 100 as I did, but it was definitely a clue for the 50. Yeah, even though I changed some things a little before the race. Mm -hmm. You have questions for Vladimir Marzov, the silver medalist, or any other to George Bogo? The last row. Both of you guys, wonderful swims. Um, Vlad, just want to ask you, how did it feel getting presented a medal by Popov? <laughs> it felt great. Uh, I actually talked to him for the first time ever before we went out to get our medals. He's a really funny guy. I like him. Uh, but it's his grounds here, you know. He got some medals here, so it was really great. He told me a couple of really good words, told me that I'm going in the right direction. Same question, plus more questions. California. And uh, same, same sort of question. Why is the sport so fast, Vlad? I mean, and from your perspective, I mean, 21. I mean, Anthony won the gold medal 12 years ago in this event in 21.8. Now it's 21.3, 21.4. This event. What, what's going on? I'm sure the back plate on the block has something to do with it. I mean, the blocks are slightly different, and that, that's got to contribute something. We carry more inertia off the block now. Um, I think the, the technique is also developing. There is, you know, and swimming is also borrowing aspects from other sports, such as, you know, strength training. And I think that the average swimmer today does a lot more in the gym than they did 10 or 12 years ago. In my opinion. I think the same, uh, the blocks really play a big part here. You know, it's about two tenths, maybe even three tenths for some people. And then straight arm freestyle, you see this on the fastest guys swim straight arm. 12 years ago, I didn't think anyone swam with straight arm, or at least not as much as now. And definitely, I agree with Bovell here, power. You know, we would train so much in the gym now. When I came to USC, I didn't think that swimming needed so much weight training as I do now. So definitely, those are the three things that changed. Question two. There's any other question to George? Because they are begging to, to be excused. Who is has who has to live? Vladimir or George? George is going to doping control and you have Thank you. still two minutes. Thanks, George, and congratulations again. Vladimir has two or two minutes uh, before going to, to the control. I would like you to had ask, questions, yes. I would like to ask Vlad about Cielo uh, three times in a row, champion of 53. Uh, what can you say about him? About uh, Cielo, well, I don't know him that well. I never raced against him until today, I think. Uh, I was really stoked on beating his uh, record at NC2A championships in yards. But what I can learn from him, I don't know, just the way he prepares, the way he is in the ready room. 
Uh, you can always see him, you know, he makes so much noise, he's getting prepared, he breathe, breathes really heavily. It's something that really pumps you up for the 50, you know, because the 50, as people say, you win it before you get on the blocks, you win it in the ready room. So that's something that I can take away from Seal, you know, learn, learn from Seal. <coughs> Yeah, and that's one. Hi, uh, Vincent from Eurovision. I think in the long course so far, you just got bronze today, you got silver. How far away do you think you are from your goal? Well, I'm really stoked with these medals already, you know. The fact is that this is my first long course championship where I swim in individual, individual events. Uh, and to come here and then get, get a silver medal already <coughs> with the guys who were in my heat, they're all probably Olympic champions, world champions, you know, six of them out of eight. So I'm really stoked with that. And in 2015, I'll do my best, you know, so that no one's going to be close to me. Thanks a lot. We are out of time. Thanks and congratulations. Thank you.